Welcome back to another Shotcut video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to increase the speed that our clip is played back. Uh, so we can do slow motion, we can do fast speed. And so I'll show you how to do that. You may have noticed, um, so I have a video brought in here on my timeline. If you've been looking at filters, maybe you've already tried to type in speed to look for a speed or a slow uh, filter or effect and you're not finding it. Well, that's because um, it's treated a little bit differently in Shotcut. It's actually under properties. So when our clip is selected and has red around it, we're going to see the properties of whatever clip is selected. Um, and it's only the clip that's selected. So if we were to, to cut this, split this clip, we'd have to change the speed twice. But we see there's information about the video, uh, the audio, some metadata, and right up above it all is this speed. So we can change the speed here. If we change this to 2, it's going to be 200% uh, or 2 times the speed and hit enter. And then we see our clip, it gets shortened all of a sudden. And it did the audio and the video adjusted the speed. So it's playing very fast now. We can't see this, the settings up here because nothing is selected when we went to play it. Deselected it for some reason. So we left click on it again. And we can see, we can change it back to 1 and hit enter, put it back to where it was. Or we can make it down to whatever we want. So we can do half speed would be 0 0.5, hit enter. And now it's half the speed. So we go back to the beginning or any point and we play it. Um, there's a cool song, Jolene, by Dolly Parton. It's awesome. You should check it out. They slowed it down, um, and it sounds like I love listening to that song, uh, the slow motion version. Anyway, this just reminded me of that. Um, so yeah, that's basically adjusting speed. What did I say? Yeah, this is basically it. That's how you do speed in clips, and then if we were to split this, um, we can change the speed back to 1 on this one, but just be aware that if we do that, it's only on the active clip, so this one will still be slow motion, and then it goes back to normal speed. If we split it again and change this one to 3 times the speed, well now we're going to have slow, regular, and then fast speed. Um, that's it, basically. I guess I don't need to say any more. Adjusting speed using Shotcut. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.